Hey guys, what is up? And today is going to be part two of the Batch game series. Now. Now, what we're gonna be covering today is adding the EXP and money functionality to your game, along with making this a save game. Now the first thing I'm gonna do is change this marker to new. And I'm gonna make a new start marker. I'm gonna say echo press end if you are a new user and echo press L to load a save file. Now I'm just going to say set slash p start equals if start equals equals n go to new and if start equals equals l go to load. Now I'm just going to make a marker for load. I'm going to open and close a bracket. Now I've already posted a tutorial on how to save and load variables into an album batch file, but I'm going to show you again. And the four variables we are going to be loading and saving are name, exp, mon exp, and finally money. So I'm just going to say set slash p name equals sub slash p exp equals set slash p mon exp equals and finally set slash p money equals now i'm going to put a lesser than sign to indicate i want these variables to be loaded from an external file and that will be save dot blb now you could put a path directory for let's say your save file is loaded in your my documents folder but since all my save files and my batch file is going to be on my desktop I don't have to do that I'm just gonna say go to battle now I'm just gonna display these stats of exp mon exp and finally money and I'm also going to say echo press v to save the game I'm going to say if option equals equals v go to save. Now I'm just going to make a marker for save. Open and close a bracket. And the four files, the four variables, again, we're going to save is name, exp mon exp and money now one thing to keep in mind here is that you want the order in which your variables are loaded and saved to be the same otherwise your variable values will get mixed up and it's just going to be a complete headache so i'm going to say echo name echo exp echo mon exp and finally, echo money. I'm going to put a greater than sign to indicate I want these variables to be saved to an external file, and that will be save.dlb. Go to battle. Now, in order for our money and exp functions to work, we're going to have to add some code to our loss and win markers so I'm just gonna say set slash a 
mon exp equals mon exp plus one. So if the monster wins and you lose, the monster exp goes up by one. So that makes sense. I'm going to say set slash a money equals money minus 50. Now, if you've ever played a game of Pokemon, you know if you lose, you lose money. So that's essentially what this is. And now finally, I'm going to have to reset our stat variable. So HP, Mon HP, and our gun limiter. Because if you don't, and you hit play again, you're, and if you, let's say, won, your HP is going to be down to like 3. And since the monster lost, the HP is probably 0 or lesser than 0. And it's just going to keep taking you back to you win, you win, or you lose, you lose. So, I'm just going to set the HP to 100. Set the Mon HP to 100. And finally, set the Gun Limit back to 4. Now for win, I'm going to say set slash A EXP equals exp plus one so if you win your exp is going to go up by one i'm also going to say set slash a money equals money plus 50. so if you win you get money and i'm just going to set the hp back to 100 set the mon HP back to 100 and finally set the gun limit back to 4 now I'm just gonna add a play again function so play again I'm just gonna say set slash PL equals if L equals equals y go to battle and if l equals equals n exit the program and I'm just gonna do the same here so I'm just gonna hit play again y n I'm just gonna say set slash p W equals if W equals equals Y go to battle and if W equals equals N exit the program. Now I'm just going to save that. Run the batch file. And since I am a new user, I'm just going to press N. I'm going to say coders tuts and I'm just going to hit the G G G G we've hit the limiters so I'm just going to press S and I lost so I'm just going to hit yep as you can see the mon exp went up by 1 to 2 and my money went down to 950 now if we look at the code our money started out at 1000 so we went down to 950 and now I'm just gonna hit V to save and as you can see save.dlb popped up now I'm just gonna close that open this up hit L and as you can see my stats from before have been retained along with my name so that is going to be part two of the batch game series. Again, guys, please make sure to leave suggestions down below of new features you want to be added to this, to this game. And finally, one thing I'm going to say is that I've been partnered with full screen. So I'm able to do live streams. If you guys want live streams, just leave me a comment down below. With all that being said, please make sure to rate, like, subscribe, and share this video. Thank you for watching.